I'm Rob Freed from the New American Baccalaureate Project, and this is part three of our Village Commons Initiative, our liberal arts college can redesign its gen ed program. Stephen Mintz of the University of Texas at Austin, in a recent article in Inside Higher Education, poses a key question. What is it that distinguishes a liberal arts education from vocational training? It's not simply breadth of exposure, the arts, the humanities, the social and natural sciences. It's that a liberal education is meant to be transformative. The skills and knowledge a liberal education imparts include not only disciplinary methods and theoretical and conceptual frameworks, but something far greater heightened powers of observation and communication, interpretive and research skills, and a capacity for critical self-reflection. Does our curriculum do this? Perhaps, but if it does, this is not a product of intentionality and design. In this, our third in our series of videos, we aim at precisely what Professor Mintz asks, to make essential skills and knowledge a product of intentionality in design. To empower new cohorts of learners from lower income, first generation or working class backgrounds, we offer a gen ed approach that will help all students to increase their zest for learning and enhance the critical thinking qualities they bring to their college majors. The Village Commons, again, is a creation of the New American Baccalaureate Project, which fosters conversations and offers consulting to liberal arts colleges who seek to enable a broad range of students to enroll, advance, and graduate at high levels. Our first video explained our vision. Our second described enhanced partnerships between the college and regional high schools. Let's look now at the changes a college might choose to consider so that new regional cohorts and eventually all students can realize the full promise of a liberal education as thoughtful, active citizens who support democratic and humane values. Some academic conventions that prevail at most liberal arts colleges may not be well suited to the needs of today's students. As Keeling and Hirsch argue in their book, We're Losing Our Minds, Rethinking American Higher Education, our colleges and universities fail to produce higher learning for too many students. While we may anticipate resistance to changes in the status quo, our proposed redesign won't upend negotiated contracts or the faculty's freedom to teach their desired courses. Experimental pilot programs allow different approaches to a liberal education to enrich each other to the benefit of the college as a whole. So among the gen ed conventions we question are things like distribution requirements, standalone introductory courses, midterms and final exams to assess student learning, lack of a deliberate focus on the skills that lead to success, and the absence of a strong sense of community for students in their early college years. Why do we dare challenge gen ed traditions that are so widespread and have served generations of college graduates? The complex answer is that our world is changing. Many humanities majors are in decline and the public's respect for a liberal arts education is at a historic low. The simple answer is that enrollment at non-elite liberal arts colleges is shrinking, even as their value to our society is greater than it has ever been. If our liberal arts colleges are, are unable to attract and graduate new categories of learning, both they and our democracy will suffer. To reverse these trends, we want to help liberal arts colleges redesign how students experience their first two years of study, improving collaboration between and among students and teachers, creating a strong sense of community in seminars that allow students to see how areas of knowledge relate to each other and to their lives, assessing their learning by applying knowledge and skills, 
integrating internships as part of their academic work and increasing student initiative as they transition to college majors. We know many colleges are revising their Gen Ed offerings to include one or several of these objectives, but they are rarely linked in a mutually re reinforcing academic structure whose benefits students and faculty can readily perceive. To connect these ideas, Village Commons Colleges have a network to share strategies to move forward, and we assist these colleges to create gen ed models that can earn broad stakeholder support. Among the academic practices and values we see as vital for 21st century learners are freshman sophomore seminars, carefully planned to reinforce desired student learning outcomes, coordinated interdisciplinary seminars that allow students to see how areas of knowledge relate to each other and to their lives, clear expectations relative to habits of mind and critical inquiry that are an explicit part of seminar content. Students encouraged to help each other achieve learning outcomes as part of their own skills building process. Strong emphasis on independent reading, writing across genres, and public speaking. Early engagement with experiential learning and internships that reflect and enhance academic learning. Involving students' home communities in problem-solving research and action. An increasing student initiative and self-motivation as they transition from gen ed to college majors and take full advantage of what your college offers. This is not a new list of requirements. Some of these are already part of your Gen Ed goals. By combining them, we highlight the holistic and transformative nature of the Gen Ed experience, building students' academic capacities and their confidence as learners to respectfully negotiate with their professors to personalize their education. Any attempt to redesign the current Ed Gen Ed curriculum may be disruptive for faculty and others, and we are experienced and ready to work through these concerns in a professionally respectful manner. So here's how the entire faculty benefits from Gen Ed rethinking. Those who choose to teach in it or co-teach will gain perspectives on student motivation and enhanced teaching in all of their classes. Students who choose majors having had a holistic gen ed experience will have a greater capacity for in-depth learning. They will be better students. As each Village Commons college gains national recognition for its redesigned academic program, it will attract motivated students from everywhere. Local community esteem for the college will grow as citizens see the benefits of its engagement with area high schools and enterprises. So who else besides current faculty might teach in a redesigned Gen Ed? We anticipate that at the start, only certain current faculty may choose to teach in it. Our redesign takes place amid uncertainty about the college's future. Other faculty may be interested if skeptical observers. All are welcome none required to participate. Additional instructors can come from a variety of venues. All will share a passion for planning curriculum with colleagues and for teaching students in their formative college years. They might be retired faculty who are now free from other pressures and wish to teach with the joy of it. Adjuncts with proven student-centered effectiveness will seek full-time renewable contracts. Outstanding graduating seniors nominated by faculty to spend a year or so teaching college before going on to grad school or careers. Faculty sponsors of these seniors who may want to co-teach with their protégés and exceptionally talented high school teachers who divide their time between high school and college. Once again, these ideas are much easier to put into words and to act upon and some will generate pushback. While acknowledging such concerns, 
we can remind stakeholders that our redesign is likely to generate increased enrollment and national recognition for your college as a pioneer in 21st century liberal education. In part four, we will outline how to make this approach affordable and how this gen ed redesign can evolve into a degree option that fulfills both the student's desire for a good paying career and the college's mission to create thoughtful and confident graduates who evince the best classical attributes of a liberal education. Thank you. And again, I welcome your comments and questions at rfreed at uvei.edu.